the Lower Alloways Creek Incident. Part 3 Alien Abduction Hi, this is Robert Earl White, and this is the Lower Alloways Creek Incident, Part 3, Alien Abduction. In 1991, after a UFO crashed behind my house and my mother was hypnotized, it brought to light a phenomenon that had been happening to her since she was a child. A few nights prior to the crash, my mother reported having strange dreams and waking up excited, nervous, and anxious. She also reported she remembers walking out to a half-wooded area where she encountered three to four giant hamster cages with red and orange twist ties going around the bars. She said that she saw mongooses walking erect and also walking within unison. She also said that she saw two large snakes and she felt like she was protecting the snakes from the mongooses. I was an only child and my mother and I were extremely close and throughout the years and once I got older she confided in me things that she wouldn't share with anyone else because I always believed in her. Now in my mother's dreams she says she saw giant hamster cages with bright red and orange twist ties which twist ties are very flat and red and orange in the DNA chart represents the T strand and the C strand which together formulates part of our DNA structure. Also, red and orange is represented by the Leiden and gonads, which are reproductive glands, which is valuable to the hybrid program. The hypnosis uncovered memories that had been suppressed for years. My mother recalled in the middle of the night being drug out of her room through the walls and witnessing very bright lights all around her and coming to on a bed surrounded by multiple extraterrestrial species. With each species she had a different experience with. For example, some that she called the blues. They were very friends with a bluish light tinge coming off of them. They helped her, they spoke to her telepathically, and always explained to her the procedures they were doing with her. Along with this species and many others, there were little greys from Zeta, and they are the helpers, and they help with the other extraterrestrials to make sure things get done and that things are watched over. Along with these species, my mother also encountered what we call the Nordics, the ones that looked just like us, who were very loving and kind and spoke to her in multiple different languages and through telepathy. Then, unfortunately, my mother had encounters with a species called the Tall Whites. Their name may be misleading. They are actually greys, but they have a lighter complexion, and they are tall, and they're very old, and they can be nasty. They are not as loving, and they feel like they don't need to explain themselves, and many of the operations and experiments they would perform on my mother could be life-changing, and actually the effect stuck with her for the rest of her life. One of the most traumatizing experiences my mom had was with the gray whites and being a part of their hybrid program. Her eggs would be extracted aggressively by using a needle, then manipulated, and then put back inside of her for an incubation period. Then at a later time, they would abduct my mother again and extract the embryo so it would continue to grow in their facility. My mom remembers seeing her hybrid children standing off on the walls in the room and she was communicating with them telepathically. Some of them looked just like you and I. Others looked very deformed and some were the perfect mix of gray alien and human put together. My mom would always ask the ETs, can I please have one and can one live with me? And they replied, it will not survive on earth. The repercussions of my mother being a part of the breeding program meant irregular menstrual cycles to the point of constantly bleeding. My mother even had her tubes tied and still 
She miscarried five times and continued bleeding constantly. My mother started drinking alcohol because she claimed that when she had alcohol in her bloodstream, it caused these beings not to be able to do their experiments with her. So unfortunately, this led to a lifetime of drinking. And with not having anyone to talk to, this ultimately led to her death, March 9th, 2020. There are thousands of people in this country that are going through this phenomenon. And I wanna encourage you, if you have an experience, please contact us at the Order of Light, where we can try to help you and put you in contact with someone else that has shared your experience. Because of what my mother went through, my goal is to make sure no one on this planet has to ever go through what we went through. I believe everyone has an important story and should be able to share it, especially if it's a traumatizing event. In some cases, these are compared to rapes, yet people can't talk about it for fear of ridicule and rejection and laughter and being called crazy. This is happening. And we are not asking for disclosure. We are demanding it. We are not going to wait for it to happen. We are making it happen. Disclosure is now. So please contact us. Thank you so much.